Hi. Oh fuck. I was like, hi. It's okay like this. Hi, I'm Alexandra and I'm a oops. Hi, I'm Alexandra and I'm a fine arts student at Loughborough University. Um, I'm currently on a year out, but that's a story for another time. And I'm here today because I asked you guys on my Instagram account, my art Instagram, which is this. Wait, look, this. I'll put it here. Nice. <laughs> which is this one. Um, I asked you what you would like to see from potential YouTube videos. And um, I had a lot of responses to it, by which I mean 12. Um, and you guys said some pretty interesting things, such as how to draw a dog, how to draw hands holding cups. Um, there was one which was like how to depict the concept of coolness slash hotness. Um, and there were some pretty weird ones. Um, but I figured out that I can't start doing any tutorials or any videos about my practice without talking about this one thing. So listen up. If you are a fine art student or just an artist getting started and you're wondering what is the one thing you could be doing, you could be investing in right now to take your art to the next level and open up a lot of opportunities, it's this. You have to start doing digital art. <laughs> and when I say digital, I mean not just digital drawing or illustration, but anything to do with a computer like video, photography, Photoshop, etc. I personally do digital illustration and um, today I will be showing you how to get started with it, what my experience with it was, what you need for it and what software you could be using, some tips and tricks. So let's just get started. <laughs> First step, get yourself a tablet. I know they're on the pricier side but you'll find out soon that they're a worthwhile investment. You can get it secondhand if anything, um, and I know everyone's out there with their iPads, but my Wacom Intuos Pro does it for me. To a certain level, any tablet is okay, but definitely look into them and get one that suits your needs. My Wacom came with a pen and a pen holder, which I lost, um, and it has a bunch of buttons whose functions you get to customize upon installing the tablet for the first time. The best software I've come across for digital painting and illustration is Krita or Krita and it's free as well. All you have to do is go onto their website and download it. Now open it, press new and set your size. For a good Instagram quality, you can set it as standard 1800 times 1800 pixels. Here's some shortcuts to begin with. Hold the down button on the side of your pen to move the canvas around. If you do the same thing while pressing the control key, you can zoom in and out. And if you're pressing the shift key, you can rotate the canvas. You can get it back to its initial position by pressing 5. As you can see, on the right you have your color wheel. I went on and picked the pen tool on the left for a little demo. My default brush is ink 8, but you can pick whichever from the presets on the right. You can then change the size and opacity from up here. Tracing lines using a tablet is pretty straightforward. You use it as you would a piece of paper, but it does take a lot of practice to refine your drawing. My tablet senses pressure, so I can always play around with the line consistency. Here are some other brush examples. You can pick whichever suits your practice. Now let's say you draw a head, or anything for that matter. Here are some tools to make your life easier. The lasso tool here makes selecting super easy. You can pick any shape of selection tool, but I like to freestyle it. Now clicking this, you can rotate and resize your selection. The tool next to it is used to move it around. Make sure you deselect it when you're done. The third tool in a row is for cropping. Select the area and press enter. And then you have your basics, line tool, square tool, circle tool, uh, this freestyle hexagon one, um, some tools for curved lines and others for more precise refined lines, great for tracing. Then you have this one, you, you get the point. To erase, simply turn your pen upside down and use the other end as you would an eraser. Layers are very important in digital art. This is how you add a new one and how you import one. And here you can find the layers, move them around, make them invisible, and so on. What else? Um, this tool gives a nice gradient effect. 
Oh, let's say you have more colors in use. This tool right here will help you identify different colors. And lastly, this is the fill tool, aka the annoying one we all know from paint. Now, this is how I normally do an illustration. I start off by drawing something in my sketchbook. For this, I choose to draw a portrait. It's a portrait of one of the main characters from a novel, The Vegetarian by Han Kang, which I read a few days ago and I can't stop thinking about. At this stage, things are quite sloppy. It's, uh, it's just my poor decision-making skills. <laughs> This is not a tutorial on how I draw portraits, and I sped up the video massively, otherwise it would have been around three hours long. What do you guys feel about Draw With Me videos? I personally love them and I kind of want to do one soon. My drawings are usually quite messy, but I like it that way. Um, I've always done. I leave all the lines and hatches on purpose, in fact one of my biggest pet peeves is someone asking why does she have lines on her face? Why haven't you erased them? Like Jesus Christ, get over it. Then I take a picture of my work and I send it to myself on Facebook like the loner I am. Okay so we're back in Krita, Krita, KR, fuck I can't spell. K-R-I-T-A um, That's me down there. Hi, hello. I imported the picture, turned the opacity down and added a layer on top of it Which I'm going to be working on. The way you want to import your picture is by going up on the layer uh, button and then import layer um, Now off we go tracing Having complete control over the tablet takes a lot of practice. Don't expect to be perfect from the beginning. You have to work on your lines relentlessly till one day you just like kind of find yourself doing it. Um, in fact, a lot of people try my tablet for the first time and have trouble synchronizing what they do with their hand and what they see on screen. I first tried using a Wacom at a tech convention way before I started training to be an artist and I could not for the life of me get it right so I just gave up. The next time I tried it was on this very tablet when I first bought it. This was after 7 years of training uh, in traditional art and I had no problem at all, my muscle memory just took over. Before uni, I did art in a studio with an art teacher and I told her when I got started that I wanted to do digital. She looked at me and said there's no way I can start doing digital before I develop a good hand at traditional art. And I worked with her for three years and guess what, I never got to doing digital. And I kept asking, is it time, is it time? And she'd be like, no, not yet, not yet. And the time never came. Moral of the story, if you are only considering digital illustration because you're struggling with traditional, the traditional type, um, you're going to be disappointed. There's a natural progression from one to the other. The better you are on paper, the easier you're going to find it on screen. <laughs> I prefer my digital art to still maintain a sketchbook-like aesthetic, so I always go for the rougher pens and brushes. I always go back and forth between the layers um, to check how it aligns with the sketch. So if it needs anything added, I just do that. And this is kind of it. This should be pretty basic for people who are looking to make the transition to digital illustration. 
thank you for watching. If you like this, do all the YouTube things that you guys do. Like, subscribe, share. Um, I definitely want to be doing more videos about my experience as a fine arts student, maybe my portfolio, how I go into an art school, uh, how I go placement, tutorials, all that. And uh, if they fail, I can just pretend I did it because I was bored at home. So, yeah, see you guys next time. <laughs> oh, God.